Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. In the previous tutorials we discussed about how we can sort list of numbers using many sorting algorithms. So next we will discuss about how we can search an element in the list of numbers. So for this we will discuss two searching techniques in this video series. The first one is the linear search. And the second one is the binary search. So today we'll discuss about the linear search. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about the binary search technique. So this linear search is also called as sequential search. And it is a method for finding an element within a list. It sequentially checks each element of the list until a match is found or the whole list has been searched. So in the linear search, it will compare the key element with the each element of the list sequentially until match is found or all the elements of the list are searched. So I'll show you the steps first. So the first step in the linear search is start from the leftmost element of list and one by one compare key with each element of the list. So here key is nothing but the element which need to be searched. And the second step is if key matches with an element return true or else return false. Okay, so these are the steps which we need to follow while using linear search. All right, so next we'll see an example. Okay, so this is a list. So I need to search an element now. So if I ask the user to enter the key, if he enter four, so I need to search the element four in this list. And I need to find out whether that element is present in this list or not. So according to the linear search, first what I'll do is I'll compare key with the first element. That is, I'll check whether four is equal to 10. No, right? So next I'll go to the next element. I'll check whether four is equal to seven. No, right? So next I'll go to next element. I'll check whether four is equal to four. True, right? So element is found. So I'll return the result. So element is found in the index two. Okay, so this is the linear search technique. It will search the key element with the each element of the list sequentially. That's why the name sequential search. All right, so now we'll see the program. So first in the Python file, we need to take the input. We need list of numbers, okay? So you can directly take a list or you can use the list comprehension method, which we used in the sorting algorithms. Okay. We need to write like this. So here I'll take the elements directly. Okay, so these are the elements. Next, I want to ask the user to enter the key element, the element which need to be searched. So here I'll take the variable called key and So I'll ask the user to enter the key element. So next I'll call the search function, okay, which will do this uh, linear search. So first I'll define that function before calling that function. I need to define that function, right? So I'll give the function name as search. And here we want a list one, a list as well as we need key. So to search a list, we need list as well as we need key, right? That's why these two parameters. And here I'll take the for loop first because we need to check the key element with the each element of the list, right? We need to compare this key with first 10, 7, 4, 1, 19, 20, 300. We need to compare with each element of the list. That's why I'll take a for loop and I'll take range from zero to length of list one because here length of list one is seven. So length of list one is nothing but seven. Okay. So range will become zero to seven. So we'll get zero, one, two, three, four, five and six. Okay. This index. So here I'll take for loop length of list one. So I just mentioned length of list one. That is nothing but it will take range from zero to length of list one. All right. Next, I need to compare key with the each element of the list. So I'll check if condition for that. If Q 
key is equal to equal to comparison symbol and list one of i so here i is nothing but the index okay it will be zero to length of list one if it contains seven elements so then range will be become zero to seven that is nothing but zero one two three four five six so initially i become zero so list one of i so there is nothing but list one of zero there is nothing but the first element of the list so key will be compared with the first element of the list if it is true all right so just print key element is found and then just break okay so come out of the loop so when i checked key with the list one of i so it will first compare key with the first element of the list if the elements are same then just print key element is found and come out of this loop to come out of this loop we'll use break statement and i'll use else condition for for okay element is not found so why i use this else statement for for why not for if condition because so first of all this else can be used with the loops also for loop and while loop and the else block just after for or while is executed only when the loop is not terminated by a break statement and now if you ask why i used this else here because here we can see it will search for the key so if it is found it will print key is found and it will come out of the loop no need to execute anything here if it is not found then we need to check the key with the next element of the list right and if we didn't use this break when this condition become false it will just print element is not found we'll get multiple of element is not found statements in your output we don't want that first we'll check the if condition if element is found we'll just print element is found and we'll come out of the loop break if it is not found we won't print element is not found we'll go to the next element okay we'll compare key with the next element until all the elements are searched will print element is not found only when all the elements are searched okay only when this for loop is completed if all the elements are searched and if element is not found then only will print element is not found okay that's why this else is for this for loop all right so now we are done so here i'll call that function search and i'll pass list one as well as key so now if i save this and run this so enter the key element i'll just enter 4 element is not found here we can see 4 is not present in the list that's why we got element is not present so if you want you can just print list also here okay list is this search for the element so now if i enter 1 key element is found yes it is present here one right if you want to print in which index it is present then here you need to is found at index and you just need to mention i here you need to print i value so if i enter one again now key element is found at index 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 so element is found here okay so in this way linear search will work and next if the list contains duplicate values and if the key element is a duplicate value and if you want to find out all index of that key element then you need to modify little in this program okay so here i need to take a list first all right so i'll take a empty list i'll name it as list 2 and i'll take a variable also i'll give name as flag and i'll take the value as false so flag is a variable its value is false so here if we found out the key element then i'll just make flag as true okay i'll assign the flag value as true i'll change the flag value as true and i'll append that index to list so next we don't need this if for condition okay so next i'll come out of this for loop and here if flag 
is true then I'll just print element is found and here I need to take for loop to print the index okay else key is not found all right what i did is if our list contains duplicate values and if the key element is that duplicate value and if i want to print all the index of that duplicate value then i can do this okay here in this for loop what we'll do is i'll compare key with the element of the list when it is mat i'll just assign a value to a variable that is true initially it is false okay initially i took the value of that variable as false when it becomes equal then i'll change the value of that variable as true and i'll append that index value to list 2 okay so now that index value will be stored in list 2 and flag will be true if element is found so next if flag is true that means the key element is found okay so to print that index i'll use the for loop if flag is false that means this condition is not satisfied that's why flag value is till false it doesn't become true so that means print key is not found and here i'll change the value so now if i save this and run this so now i'll enter one so key element is found at index one and five zero one two three four five if i enter seven key element is found at index four if i enter 21 key is not found so this is about the linear search program so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care